Welcome back, everybody. The Nashville Symphony Skirmerhorn Symphony Center is known for its immersive space, and the Music City Christmas Show is sure to put you in the holiday spirit. It all kicks off next Thursday. Ooh, we can't wait. And here to talk about one of the biggest productions for the Nashville Symphony is the principal Pops conductor, Enrico Lopez Yanez. Now, from Mickey Guyton to Broadway singers, even to Santa, Music City Christmas has it all. I mean, really and truly. Yeah. Tell us about this unique uh, production. Yeah, well, this is a holiday tradition that we've been bringing to Nashville for several years now. Uh, every year we bring in incredible dancers from New York that are fully choreographed and staged. So it's like seeing a Broadway show paired with local singer songwriters, like you mentioned, Santa, and then a special guest every year this year, Mickey Guyton, who has been exploding on the music scene. I mean, she's done everything this year from the Rockefeller Center tree lighting to the Kennedy Center honors. She was just voted by Time Magazine as one of the rising stars of our time. And I mean, she's just fantastic. So we're very excited to have her on the show this year. She, she is. is awesome. And she's one of those that kind of it took a while for her to reach this peak. And so it's so nice to see her getting the recognition. I'm so glad that she's the headlining, the headlining singer this this yeah. time around. Now, not only is the show about, uh, you know, Christmas and the holidays, but other things that you guys do kind of have little nods to the holidays. So tell us about those. Yeah, we start things off every year by uh, having kids write letters to Santa in our lobby. <laughs> so bring your kids, they can write a letter to Santa, and several of them get read on stage by Santa himself. So it's a really fun way to celebrate the holiday with the family. And we also always welcome a local singer-songwriter from Nashville to have their piece premiered at the show. So this year, a Guatemalan-born uh, Nashvillean singer-songwriter named Marta Alvaracin uh, wrote a song, a bilingual song called Feliz Navidad, Feliz Año Nuevo, mm -hmm. and the orchestra will be premiering it at Music City Christmas oh this God. year. Wow. That's a huge, wow. huge moment for them. Absolutely. Oh, wow. And it's all about the ambiance. The Nashville Symphony is quite the venue. Uh, what do you think draws people in? I mean, beyond compare, the symphony is one of the best places to hear live music anywhere in the world. I mean, the acoustics are phenomenal. It's beautiful. It's this grand building. But what's nice is that it's also homey and welcoming. Anyone can come. You can come wearing jeans and a t-shirt if you want. And it's the one place where you can hear more than 80 musicians performing all at once together. And it's just such a beautiful representation of what community can be and what it means to have people working together to create something that any one person on their own can't do. Oh, oh my I gosh. Love it. Magical. Okay, we gotta get to the real questions here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we have been hit the burning <laughs> question here. All right, so you went to school and then went to school some more to sure. become a conductor. Yeah. I have always wanted to ask, how do instrumentalists know what to do based on the hand movement. Sure, so I'll show you the basic pattern that a conductor does. We start with our hands up and we go down to the floor, to the window, to the wall, to the ceiling. To the floor, window. Floor, window, <laughs> wall, ceiling. And with that, you can conduct 90% of the music that's out there. But what that person okay. conducting is doing is showing how fast the music should go or how loud. If I do a big gesture, you know louder. If I do something small, you're thinking softer. And so the way that we move is how the music is then affected and performed by the musicians on stage. What about left or right? Left and right, uh, so you can make things very sharp and that'll tell them to play very short notes or you can do something fluid and then you'll have a more connected sound. <laughs> the there you go. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, you so, are so welcome. much. That's really, really wonderful. So you can change any song just by the flick of a wrist? That's the idea, yeah. Oh, so, You've got because a lot of power. Obviously, yes. we're not yelling things at the musicians in the middle of the show. That'd be pretty distracting for the <laughs> yeah, audience. Yeah. So it's all a nonverbal communication that happens <laughs> right. between us. Oh, my. The symphony is so beautiful. I mean, just to watch it, just to be in, in it. And it's like a 360 degree experience. Absolutely. Well, thank yeah, you so absolutely. much for coming on and talking Thanks about this. Me. It's absolutely thank beautiful. You. Oh my God. Well, you can check out all their shows and how to participate in so many of their events. Please follow them online, nashvillesymphony.org.